Hello everyone, this is broby one Kenobi, also known as Kyle. And I am back here on my Feed the Beast server. I've uh, been running these this centrifuge for a while on some redstone. Getting a decent yield. Um, so what I wanted to do was go ahead and throw these silicon cells into the blast furnace. Show you guys just how... This takes a while too, doesn't it? There's not a whole lot you can actually put in the blast furnace. Apparently. Uh, this only takes 50 seconds, but it does use 128,000 EU. Whew. It's quite a bit of EU. Alright, well this is almost done. I just wanted to show you guys uh, the uses for the silicon cells. Part of the reason why I wanted to use this. The other thing is the mercury cells. If you hit U here. Oh, I find in the industrial grinder... If you put in mercury cells with iridium ore, you get two iridium ore and a platinum dust. Now this is in contrast to normally an iridium ore in a grinder with a water cell. You get you two iridium and only a tiny, two tiny piles of platinum dust. So it yields you twice as much platinum if you use a mercury cell. So that's another benefit to centrifuging redstone. And uh, then there's also the ruby dust, which, what did I say could be used for, really? Uh, basically to centrifuge into chrome dust, or electrolyze into chrome dust and aluminum dust. So again, some pretty good uses for centrifuging redstone. Um, pirate dust really isn't that useful. Uh, you can electrolyze it into sulfur and iron, but uh, sulfur is kind of useless. Um, yeah, so there you go, we have one silicon plate, there's two silicon plates, and we get our empty cells back, which is kind of nice. So we can just throw those right back. That's two silicon plates, so we could go ahead and make one solar panel. Uh, maybe I'll do that. I don't know. What I was really going to do in this episode was make the industrial electrolyzer, or two of them, rather. Uh, so we're going to have to go into our... Oh, there's a creeper nearby. Hopefully he doesn't aggro. Let me in. Thank you. Okay, so industrial electrolyzer. Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and make this freaking thing. We need a generator, two circuits, a carbon plate, which we may not have a carbon plate, actually. We do have a generator. We do not have a carbon plate. That is infinitely suck. Do I have any carbon? Crushed uh, coal, whatever the frig it's called. I guess not. Let's take a couple of stacks of coal, since we have plenty. I hate these pressure plates. Where is this creeper, anyway? There he is. You didn't see me. Alright, so... Come on. Let's macerate that stuff. And let's flick this on. We need to make a redstone energy cell. But so that will be at a later date. So how's this guy doing? We've already made two more. Yeah. So this guy's moving at a pretty decent pace. We can make three more sets of... What the heck happened to that creeper? Creeper is right on top of me. That's kind of unnerving. Alright, so we've made... Wow, this... Mass pulverizes coal very quickly. As opposed to the macerator, which is infinitely slower. Yeah. Really been meaning to upgrade the rotary up to the up to the rotary macerator. That might be next episode, I don't know. There's so much stuff I want to do. It's absolutely ridiculous. Alright, well that's probably enough for now. Let's see, we can make seven. Which means we can only make three. Right? Oh, crap. Yes, three. It's fine, we only need two. I think. Actually, we're going to need a couple of these. So it's a good thing I'm making them. Dang it. Dang. Ah, hey, you can't shift click into there. 
that's through more carbon mesh. Do 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 do. So this is fun. Probably should have prepared this ahead of time, but I didn't think I was gonna make the solar panel. Dang, this thing is mad fast. I'm just gonna wait for the polarizer to finish its stack, and then we'll go ahead and uh, continue on our journey, so to speak. Alright, so let's go ahead and flick these off. Turn this into carbon mesh. So we got nine more carbon fi or, sorry, carbon fibers. So we got four more carbon mesh, which we can take upstairs and throw into the compressor. Wow, the macerator is very slow. But we can make one more carbon mesh right now. So we got four carbon plates, that'll do for now. And the rest of that I can leave running and not worry about it exploding. Oh no, did he see me? No, it doesn't matter. Okay, so we need carbon plates. What else do we need? Circuits. Silicon plates. Uh, those things. Circuits. And a generator. And yeah, that's our first solar panel ever. Woohoo! Pretty exciting. So for now, that's just going to go off to the side. We're not going to use that. Okay. So that's how you make a solar panel in Greg Tech. So what we know what to make is the industrial electrolyzer. Now we need two of these, as I mentioned. So we need to make the extractors again. Let's make two of those and this throw chest. Let's grab some more wood we need to make eight uh, tree taps. One, two, which means we need more wood. Let's just throw the rest of this in there. Three, four, five, six, don't know what this accent is, and eight. Okay, we got the circuits, and we got the machine blocks. So machine blocks, circuits, tree tap, tree tap. Tree tap. Tree tap. Mm, let's move those so we can make two of these pretty easily. Okay. Let's throw that stuff back in there. Alright, so electrolyzer needs two extractors, two electrolyzers, which is machine blocks, empty cells, circuits, and copper cables. So we will need to make more copper cables. Grab a stack of rubber. Do we have copper laying around at all? Maybe we get six. Probably not enough, but uh, would I do it all again? Rubber bars, and we'll just use the regular rubber. So that got us 12 more copper cables. Fantastic. How many circuits do we have left? Two. And how many did we need? Oh, we only need two. Okay. We also need to make some more empty cells. So, that's a thing. Okay, so what do we need now? Machine box, circuit, empty cells, and... Okay. I think it was there. There. Uh, uh, we don't have a machine block. Let's make, like, I don't know. We probably need four. So let's just make four. Uh, do we need two circuits? I don't think we did. I can't even remember how to craft this thing. Is that it? I thought that was it. Machine box, circuit, two empty cells. Oh, backwards. So two electrolyzers. Fantastic. Alright, now we need two magnetizers. How do you get iron fence? Refined iron. Okay, that's pretty easy. That should be more than enough iron fence. Seems like a weird thing to need, but whatever. And what was it? Redstone down the sides, I believe. Magnetizer. Let's make two of those. Uh, we need two more advanced circuits. We need more circuits. Um, we need more copper. Buggers. I'll just make we'll use eight. We'll just use eight. We'll just use eight, because that's all we really need for now. 
There's an Enderman. I should go kill him because of soul shards. Wow, that is very slow. Why is the Macerator so slow? The world may never know. Actually, I'm sure the world knows exactly why. But hey, you know, whatever. <laughs> Alright, so... Sorry, looking at my other computer. Alright, so... Uh, yeah, come on, Pulverizer. Pulverize faster. You pulverize that copper. Halfway there. Right on time. Man, no buds today. Disappointing. Alright, so now we can shut these guys off. Fantastico. Now we will come up here and cook this copper. So yeah, we have copper done. That's fun. Sorry for not being prepared. I suck, I know. You can tell me. Broby, you suck. Just just go ahead, tell me. Where am I going? So, copper. And rubber. Just turn all of it into cables, because we're going to need them. Need to make, what, four more circuits at least? And we are starting to run low. We can only make six, that's fine. Would you run out of redstone? Yeah. Alright. Looks like we're not ready to go yet, because we need to make advanced circuits, which means I need to get more redstone. Convenient. One, two, three, four. Two. And a one, two. Let's just make two of these, because that's all we actually need. Oh, uh, no, we need four. I lied. Pretty sure we need four. If not, we'll need them anyway, so... Whatevs. But I believe it goes like that. Like that. An extractor. Electrolyzer. Magnetizer. Fantastic, and we get two industrial electrolyzers. Now we're going to save one there, because we need the one to make the grinder. We also need the pump, which, if I recall, is fairly easy. Yeah. Pump's not too bad. Whoops, that's the wrong thing. The hardest part's going to be these grinder heads. I need eight steel plates. And, uh... Ten diamonds to make those. We have plenty of diamonds now. I found a bunch while mining. We have 44. So... There's that. Um, so yeah, let's take the industrial electrolyzer. Now let me do the same thing I've been doing. And pull it up on the wiki to make sure that I don't hook it up to the wrong power. Industrial electrolyzer, let's see. Do, 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 do. When this machine is receiving less power than the required power for the current process. It's more commonly used in recipes where individual elements need to be separated from the compounds rather than to separate compounds themselves. Thus it can be used to separate iron and sulfur from pyrite or lithium from clay. Da 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 da. Oof. Huh. It actually doesn't say what it should be hook up hooked up to. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Mm-hmm. 
Oh, it doesn't look like... There's any way to I don't know, I can't tell if it everybody's talking about an MFSU or MFE rather. But it looks like you need the transformer. Uh, I don't know. Looks, uh, everybody else is saying stuff about 128 EU per tick, so I guess I'm going to hook it up to the medium voltage. Should be fine. Um, did not specify whether it needs low voltage or not, but well, well, I guess we'll see. We have two of them, so if one breaks, then I guess we could just replace it. But I'd really rather not lose one. That's oh, just uh, aluminum. All right, moment of truth. Oh, it didn't blow up, so that's a good sign. <laughs> uh, where'd that sand go? Sand! Let's throw it in there and see what happens. It is not working. I can use sand, right? This is the one I can use sand with, right? Not just going crazy. Yeah, this is the one I can use sand on. What the heck? Why, why you no work? Why you no work, Electroizer? Do I need to sell? Do, oh, I, durr. I am dumb. I need cells in it, doofus. Herp derp. So let's see, how long does this actually need? What the hell? If you put bone meal in, you get a calcium cell. Interesting. Sugar gets you water and carbon. Oh, crap, I was supposed to look at how long it actually takes to do. 50 seconds, that's not too bad. So we're about to see the electrolyzer work for the first time. <sighs> Electrolyzed bauxite. Is that bauxite? No, cinnabar. Ah, you get titanium from bauxite. So I should start, I guess, pulverizing my bauxite, huh? Or how do you get this? Pulverize bauxite ore. Wow, you get four dusts? Holy crap. This stuff is fantastic. You put it through a grinder, you get aluminum and stuff. You are most definitely better off electrolyzing it. You get titanium, possibility of titanium. And did this not do anything yet? Oh, there we go. Silicon cell and compressed air cell. Now, if I recall, you just throw a compressed air cell into a crafting grid and you get an empty cell back. So that's not too bad. Yeah, so that's cool. Oh, this already did two of them. Oh, wow. So yeah, um, that's cool. Now we have more silicon too. So we can make a couple of, uh, what do you call them? Those things. <laughs> uh, solar panels. Wow, I was drawing a big brain fart there. Um, so let's go grab some bauxite. How long does the bauxite recipe take though? Uh, let's just search it. Bauxite dust. You. 100 seconds. That's. Eh, it's only about two minutes. It's not too long. This still got. Wow. Master Raider, you are very, very slow. 
I will be working on the upgrade to you very soon. Alright, so bauxite. I've got a decent bit of it, so let's just take like, I don't know, six. Sounds fantastic. Um, where is my dust chest? There it is. Pyrite, ruby, or whatever you are. Do I have another empty chest around here? No. Nah. This top one is. So this will be my cells chest. For the time being. Let's go ahead and pulverize some bauxite downstairs. Because we might be able to get some aluminum as well. Just a tiny bit though. Dang, that's wonderful. That gets eight or four per uh, ore block. Usually it's just two. I wonder why it gets four. The world may never know. I say that a lot. I'm sure the world will know at some point. I don't know why. I think the world might never know. Well, that stinks. We didn't get any aluminum. Like the actual useful aluminum. Alright, so the sand finished, says that. How many uh, empty cells do I need to, whoops, not that, to run this? Apparently more than four. Uh, would eight be enough? Eight would be enough. It takes exactly eight, actually. Alright, so now we'll wait for that. And in the meantime, we'll clear out this crafting grid. So we're going to have to make a ton of empty cells, basically. That's the moral of the story here. Oof. This thing consumes a lot of energy, doesn't it? These things are almost ready to shut off. And I'll start actually draining my MFSU soon. Oh, this guy still has like a lot. Some of these generators still have a lot, it looks like. Anyway, let's go back to the electrolyzer. It's almost done. Oh, did I grab exactly the right amount? How much bauxite was it? 12. Didn't I bring exactly 12? Man, everything's been working out wonderfully, huh? Almost done. Come on. Want to see our beautiful, beautiful titanium piles? Oh, come on, electrolyzer. You're very, very slow. These Greg Tech machines are very, very slow. It's actually really annoying. Hey, it's done. We get compressed air cells, hydrogen. Tiny piles of titanium and lots of aluminum. Did it not eat my bauxite? Oh no, it gives you four. Right, so six was became twenty-four. Okay. Nope, I'm okay now. Uh, we need to make more empty cells though. That is one thing I am learning very quickly. Let's take this refined iron back as well. Cobblestone can stay in there because it's well cobblestone, and I have tons of it. So now we can play around with a lot of these Greg Tech machines we're getting there. Uh, next episode I'll probably make the grinder before I go to doing some other, I don't know, mods or whatnot. What have you. Uh, is this my dust one? Yes it is. I guess we'll throw our tiny piles of dust in there as well. Uh, was it? This one is our cells. We have a decent bit of mercury cells. Uh, what can you do with hydrogen cells? You can extract them into nothing. You can centrifuge them into deuterium cells and empty cells. What does this do? You can turn it into tritium. Wait, tritium? Really? Huh. You can use it in a fusion reactor get helium plasma cells. Hmm. 
Interesting. So what do you do with tritium? Uh, same thing, fusion reactor. That seems to be its only use. Okay, so what do I actually use hydrogen cells for besides what I just said? Put them in a chemical reactor with carbon cells. Yeah, that's pointless. With compressed air. Hmm. Looks like that's really all they're used for is uh, making deut deuterium cells. Which then can be used in a fusion reactor, which we're nowhere near that point yet. So we're not going to be doing that. Um, uh, how much glass fiber? Oof, we only have 19. It's probably not going to be enough for what I want to do with it. You know what? We have 44 diamonds. Why am I being stingy? Actually, how much um, electrum do we have? A decent bit. Um, let's take eight, and that means we need four, four of these diamonds. And we need some glass, which is over here. How much do we already have in the project table? Oh, a decent bit. So diamonds, surrounded by electrum, and glass gives me a glass fiber cables. 32 of them to be precise, which should be enough, along with this 19, to do what I would like to do. Um, hmm. I'd actually like to get this down to the MFSU. Do you think this is possible? Oh well, we're going for it. Yo well. Oh, it takes so long to mine while you fly. Oh, we're not even near our house. Well, that is infinitely not good. Okay, well, let's, uh... Whoops, I didn't want to do that. I did want to do that, though. Actually, no, I didn't. Whoops. That's what I wanted to do. Okay. Let's just mine straight across here. It's getting very dark in here. I'll help you guys see. Oh, so we're under our house. Okay. Question is, which part of the house are we under right now? And I don't have my axe readily available. Right in the middle. Exactly where I didn't want to be. Actually, there's not going to be an easy way to bring this wire up to the ceiling, is there? Let's just do it like, I don't know, right here, maybe? Sure. Sure. So now we have to go under the ground. Uh, this is going to be hard to figure out. Alright, let's see. So, let's see. One, two, three, four. So one, two, three, four. Nope. One too many. There we go. Perfect. This may take a lot more cables than I thought it would. Alright, so let's, uh, there we go. Alright, and where's our planks here? Okay, so what we need to do is take this stuff, whoops. And lay it down. I may have to go make more of this, actually. I don't think I'm going to have enough. Whoops, I fell. Whoops, that's not right I wanted to do. Oh, dang it. I don't know why it went flying like that. Dang it. Actually, here's what we can do. Yes, perfect.
Oh, we're going to have enough. By quite a bit as well. Okay, fantastic. Let's go back upstairs. And give me this guy. Oh man, of course there's a freaking torch right there. Alright, well, anyway, so... Sorry, Mr. Torch, but you're getting broke. Oh, dang it. <laughs> that stinks. It's okay, I'm going to be ripping out most of this anyway. For the time being. Just so I can lay down some more wiring here. Oops. Don't need that on anymore. Okay. So where's our solar panel? Bam. So our solar panel is getting power. And we need to grab these guys. So what we can do is uh, just add more solar panels as we get them. Uh, obviously this area I don't want solar panels on, but we have room for this and we can always expand it out this way and then make another row if we really need to. It'll be pretty easy to do. There you go, there's our first solar panel. It's not going to do much for us because if I recall the solar panels in Greg Tech don't do very much, but hey, you know, whatever. There's red, oh, red power solar panels, yeah I knew that. <laughs> So the solar panel, let's see. And each one consistently provides one EU per tick on clear sunny days and as long as the more expensive Greg tick recipe is not enabled, they're also fairly affordable. Yep, yeah, so that's only adding one EU per tick. That's really not doing much for us. <laughs> um, solar panels are infinitely bad until you get uh, the higher tier solar panels, so to speak. But, hey, now we have a solar panel. So, there you go. Um, this has been a long episode, I feel like. So, yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy. And, um, yeah, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.